welcome to Multitask, the game show that forces you to compete simultaneously in both physical and mental challenges. How much can you handle? My name is Tongwa. I'm your Pisces host for today. Let's welcome our contestants. Come on out. Woo. All right. So tell us what your name is, um, your major, and your zodiac sign. Um, I'm Ariel. I'm a sophomore at BCC High School, and my zodiac is a Capricorn. Okay. And you? Hi, I'm Emily Smith. I'm a Leo, and I study musical theater and education. All right. So today's show is birthday themed, so our party chaperones are going to be helping us keep track of the scores. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> so here's how the game works. While participating in themed physical challenges, you will answer trivia questions randomly selected, covering any and every subject. Um, so there are three rounds in the game, and contestants will compete one at a time. Okay, so when it's not your turn, you will be escorted to the back area, um, and also so that we can keep our physical challenges a secret. Um, so let's start with round one. Who wants to go first? Um, I'll go first. All right, See. Ariel. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. So. In this round, you will be answering trivia questions while looking for words in the word search um, piece of paper right in front of you. Okay. Every <laughs> word that you find is two points, and every correct trivia question is ten points. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, <laughs> sure. Well, let's you got go. this. All right. Let's start with round one. Um, the first, um, sorry, you can start when uh, we have one minute on the clock, and the timer starts after the first question. Okay. All right. First question. What's a silver jubilee? Um, skip. All right. On average, how many birthday? How many people share a birthday on a given day? Uh, you have to be doing your, okay. your word search too. Um, fifty. <laughs> I don't know. Fifteen million. Who is the current oldest Supreme Court justice? Uh, I don't know. Which month is National National Soup Month in the USA? That's a thing? Yes. <laughs> I don't, I'm January. Oh. Which, rom which Roman dictator was killed on the Ides of March? Uh, can you repeat the question? Which Roman dictator was killed on the Ides of March? Uh, no clue. Julius Caesar? How many years <laughs> make a century? Uh, a thousand? One hundred. <laughs> What's the term for people in their 80s? Um, elders. <laughs> Octogenarian. <laughs> How many days are there in a leap year? Um, 365. No, 366. <laughs> What's the correct most, the current most populous country in the world? Uh, the United States. No, China. China, correct. <laughs> okay. On average, how many babies will develop their first tooth? I mean, uh, at what age on average will babies develop their first tooth? In time. All okay. right, how do you think that went? Uh, not very good. <laughs> Pretty bad, I think, actually. <laughs> All right, well, let's get you backstage and get contestant two out here for the next challenge. Can I get the next trivia sheet, please? Thank you very much. Come on out, Emily. Woo. How are you feeling? Pretty good. All right. Ready to go. Okay, so for this round, your task is to find words on the word search while answering trivia questions at the same time. Yikes. So every word you find is two points, and every trivia question you answer correctly is ten points. Oh, okay. Do you think you can handle it? I think so. All right, you can go <laughs> ahead and have a seat. So the timer will start. We, you have one minute on the clock. The timer will start after the first question. Okay. Which month has the fewest birthdays? February. Correct. In what year was current U.S. president inaugurated into office? The current? Mm -hmm. 2016. 17. Uh. How long does the average person's hair grow in one year? Um, one inch. Five to six inches. Great. What do you call a young child that's just beginning to walk? Um, a toddler. How many, that's correct. How many teeth does an average adult have? Um, 26. 32. Great. Which famous writer died on his 52nd birthday? Uh, Dr. Seuss. William Shakespeare. Which month has the shortest spelling? Uh, May. Correct. What day of the year is both the farthest and the closest to December 31st? Um, May 21st. January 1st. Great. Oh, yes. Which month has the longest spelling? Um, November. September. Um, what does the abbreviation BC stand for? BC? Yes. Um, before Christ. All right. 
how many years make a century? A hundred. What's the term for people in their 80s? Uh, um, old. Octogenarian. On average, how, when, would ba when will babies develop their first tooth? Um, two. And that's time. Uh, no, it's four to seven months. Ah. <laughs> All right. How do you feel? How do you think that went? Um, okay. Just okay. <laughs> okay, well, um, that's it for round one. Oh. Now we're going to go to a quick break and hear from our sponsors um, at Precision Pool Academy. And when we come back, we're going to give the scores for round one. Stay tuned. Thank you. Oh. You couldn't see the pen on the Looking to advance, enhance, or refine your skills? Come to Precision Pool Academy. We use technological skills such as laser and video analysis to help improve your game. Yeah, shoot, shoot. Call us now at 240-893-7770 or send us an email at profphillips at precisionpoolacademy.com. We look forward to seeing you. Hello, welcome back to Multitask. Thank you to our sponsors for sponsoring this episode. We're going to bring the contestants back on so we can hear their scores. All right, chaperones, where are we at? All right, well, we have Ariel with a score of 16 points, <laughs> trailing behind Emily with a score of 64 points. Woo! Woo All right, Emily, so since you're in the lead, you get to go first for round two. Great. Ariel? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to start round two, and for round two, your challenge is to blow as many balloons as you can while answering trivia questions. Awesome. So you must blow one balloon at a time. It must be at least the size of your head, and you have to put it in the bin when you're done. Okay. Okay, so we're going to count your balloons after, um, after the round is over, okay? So okay. you get one minute on the clock. The timer starts after the first question. Are you ready? Yes. All right, so how old is the youngest teenager? Uh, 13. All right. What month is the, what month, which month has the least birthdays? February. Okay. What's the most popular song in the English language? That's okay. Uh, happy birthday. That's correct. Um, who is the month of March named after? Um, Mar Meg March from Little Women. No. Mars, the Roman god of war. What day is Pi Day? Uh, 3, 14, March 14th. That's my birthday. Which famous writer died on his 52nd birthday? William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare. On what day of the week are most babies born? Uh, Monday. Tuesday. Oh. Um, which, is the hev which is heavier, a pound of cake or a pound of cotton candy? What, cake. They're both the same. Who uh. owns the world's most expensive birth certificate? Um, ben Franklin. I don't know. Paul McCartney. He sold oh. it for a lot of money. Which sitting U.S. president provided a birth certificate amid questions of his national of his um, nationality? Um, uh, Barack Obama. Barack Obama. In what year was the American University chartered by Congress? 1822. 93. 1893. And that's time. Do I let this go or should I? No, you can tie it up. You, it does count. <laughs> so how do you think that went? Um, better. Even though I wasn't breathing for some of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was part of the that's challenge. Good. So how many balloons you, did you get? One. Two, three, woohoo! Woo All right, so let's get contestant number three. I mean, sorry, number two out. <laughs> let's get Aria out here. Um, can I get someone to empty the bin for me, please? Thank you very much. Or we can just leave them, you know. No, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, so for this round, you are supposed to blow a balloon while answering trivia questions. Uh -huh. You get two points for each balloon that you blow, and every trivia question that's correct is 20 points. Okay. Okay, um, the timer starts after the first question. You have one minute on the clock. Are you ready? 
Uh, sure. <laughs> let's, let's do it. All right. How old is the youngest teenager? 18. 13. What's the month with the least birthdays? Um, the month with the least birthdays? Mm -hmm. uh, September? Mm -hmm. February. What's the most popular song in the English language? Um, you got to blow the balloon. <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody. Happy birthday. <laughs> what day is Pi Day? Uh, it just passed. Uh, March 4th? March 4th? 14th. In what year was the American University chartered by Congress? <laughs> um, I have no clue. Okay. Um, that was 1893. When does the U.S. celebrate Independence Day? Uh, July 4th. How many teeth does a fool? That's correct. How many teeth does a fully grown adult have? Uh, 30. No, 24. 24. 32. Which fruit was used as a name for a computer in 1984? Can this count as a balloon? <laughs> and that's time. <laughs> How do you think that went? Uh, worse than the last one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure you can make it up in round three. When we come back, we're going to get the scores for round two. And before that, let's get a word from our sponsors at Precision Pool Academy. We'll be right back. <laughs> It can be hard to not ever interact with people of the same race as you if you were a person of color. Freshman year, I had a hard time finding community. It's a really great place to meet other people similar to me. It helped me connect back to a culture that I was really close with. All that came with being Asian American came together into a community. I can be around people that have went through the same troubles, same experiences as me. ASU is a safe haven. We are ASU. We are ASU. We are ASU. And welcome back to Multitask. So um, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out what the scores are for round three. Chaperones, what do you have for us? Well, we still got Ariel with a total of 36 points, <laughs> and Emily is still ahead by a landslide with 190 points. <laughs> Ariel, because I need you to redeem yourself for this round, I'm gonna have you start first. Are okay. you ready? You got it. All right, Emily, you can wait <laughs> in the back. Okay, for this round, your challenge is to flip these cups. Okay. Every cup you can flip successfully gives you two points, and every trivial question that you answer correctly is 30 points. Okay, okay so this is a lot of points on the line now. <laughs> okay, um, so your timer will start after the first question. You have one minute on the clock. Are you ready? No, <laughs> but let's go. You can do this. <laughs> All see. right, first question. How many months have 30 days? Uh, four. Correct. What holiday spurred the creation of the Gregorian calendar? Um, I don't know. Skip. Okay. Easter. What day is considered Pi Day? Uh, March 14th. When does the longest day of the year occur? Uh, Mar no. Ah, skip. <laughs> Summer solstice. Which bird is the American University mascot? Um, eagle? Eagle, correct. <laughs> Fill in the blank. The Earth blank around the sun? Uh, the earth revolves around. Revolves, correct. How many months have 31 days? Uh, five. Seven. How long is a fortnight? Uh, 30 days. Two weeks. How, which month has the longest spelling? Uh, January. September. When did the Beatles break up? I wasn't born. <laughs> I wasn't alive. <laughs> Next. 1970. How old is a centenarian? What is that? <laughs> 100. <laughs> I was in high right. school. <laughs> and next time, how many cups? Did you, I don't even know how many cups you got because you put all of them off. <laughs> so you got how many? Two? I got like, yeah, two. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you for playing. We're going to okay. get Emily out here. Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> or you can need to set up here. All right, Emily, hey. for this round, your challenge is to flip as many cups as you can while answering trivial questions. You must successfully flip one cup before oh. you move to the next one. Okay. Okay? And every trivial question you answer correctly is 30 points, and every cup you're able to flip is two points. Two. Are you ready okay. for this round? <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> so, first question. How many months have 30 days? Uh, five. You got to flip the cups. Uh, four, actually. What holiday spurred the creation of the Gregorian calendar? Um, um, Easter? Easter, oh. correct. Woo! What day is considered Pi Day? Um, uh, 314. That's correct. When does the longest day of the year occur? Um, um, the solstice. Summer solstice. Summer solstice. That's solstice. correct. Which bird is the American University mascot? Uh, eagle. Correct. Fill in the blank. The Earth blank around the sun. Um, the Earth orbits. Around the sun. Orbits revolves. I'll take it. Correct. How many months have 31 days? Um, 31 days. Uh, six. Seven. How long is a fortnight? Um, 12, 12 days. Two weeks. 14 days. Which <laughs> months have the longest? Which which month has the longest spelling? Um, uh, September. September. Correct. When did the Beatles break up? Um, 64. I don't know. 1970. Okay. <laughs> How old is a centenarian? A cent. 100 years. 100. Old. Correct. Fill in the blank. The Earth. Blank on its axis. I can't God. Or okay. and tilts. Tilts, right? Tilts. It's uh actually rotates. Great. Or, I don't know what that means. Thank All you. right. <laughs> All right. Um, when we come back, we're gonna find out the scores for round three. Stay with us. And this is not your English class version of a view from the bridge. From the Bridge is this beautiful epic play about love. Um, it follows a longshoreman in Brooklyn who is completely destroyed by his obsession and love for his niece. It is so complex and so difficult, but really ultimately just a tragic, amazing story. Come see A View from the Bridge April 9th through 11th. Welcome back to Multicast, and a big thank you to our sponsors for today's episode, Precision Pool Academy. Now we're going to find out from our chaperones for the party, how are we doing with the scores? Uh, great. We have Ariel with a score of 160 points. Okay. 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 And Emily, the score of 404 points. <laughs> Whoa! And so yeah. obviously we know who the winner for this challenge was. Yay. Emily, you're the winner for today. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? I feel great. All right. Great. So we have something for you. Oh Today's prize is sponsored by Precision Pool Academy. Wow. Do you like music? Yes, I like music. All right. It's a gift card to Google Play. So you get to buy all your favorite albums. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Woo. And that's it for today's show, guys. Thank you for watching, and until next time. Ciao.